a 118-year-old painting signed by one of Captain Scott's companions and left with junk in Antarctica has been unveiled at Canterbury Museum today. The watercolor painting, discovered last September, was part of a collection of 1500 artifacts, including old tin cans and leather belts, left in the hut at Cape Adair by explorers. The painting depicts a bird and is signed by Dr. Edward Wilson, who accompanied Captain Robert Falcon Scott on his second Antarctic expedition in 1911. Antarctic Heritage Trust conservationist Josephine Bergmark Jimenez said it was a mystery how the painting ended up in the heart. It was bewildering. We didn't know what we were looking at, she said. Ms. Bergmark Jimenez said her team of four conservationists originally thought it was the first piece of art to be produced in Antarctica. It didn't turn out to be that, it turned out to be even stranger, she said. She said it was painted in Switzerland, 11 years before the expedition. Program manager Lizzie Meek of Antarctic Heritage Trust, which is running the conservation project, said many other treasures were also found in the collection. From tools, to clothing, to tins of food, to medical chemicals. A little bit of everything, she said. But Ms. Meek said the discovery of Dr. Wilson's painting was highly unusual. Ms. Meek said the project was funded by the Norwegian and New Zealand governments, as well as private donors. The painting will be returned to the heart, as well as the other 1500 artifacts, after restoration work is completed.